Ravens Log, September 11th, 2014. We superhero buffs are getting incredibly spoiled right now because we're getting more announcements of uh, likely superhero shows, uh, things in development, and uh, the latest one is Supergirl, which is uh, possibly going to be on the CW, possibly not. I'm actually really glad that I waited on talking about this until just now because when it was first reported a few days ago, uh, we were told that CW had passed on it. According to uh, Coming Soon, that's not true. Uh, apparently, at least according to them, uh, that was uh, something that was misreported. And of course, it's always really difficult to tell when you're looking at stuff on, on online, um, reading reports, what is valid, what's true, and what isn't. But it uh, it's definitely confirmed that the show is in development. Uh, it's being produced by Greg Berlanti, uh, who is one of the co-creators of Arrow, of course, and also uh, Ali Adler, uh, who has worked on Glee, who worked on Chuck, and uh, who does have a little bit of superhero background in working on No Ordinary Family, which was uh, not a great show, but not terrible either. It had its moments. I watched the whole run and um, didn't care for a lot of things about it, but um, I, I liked the chemistry between the parents, and um, it was kind of it was kind of fun to see sort of a traditional family show, even if it was uh, I don't know a little bit sappy at times and, and, and stuff like that. But I don't know, I, I enjoyed that show. It wasn't great, uh, but. This uh, seems like uh, you know a potentially a really good producer team. Uh, not a lot else to talk about yet as far as what exactly it's going to be, uh, but just to say that uh, it's happening, and those are the producers. Uh, I'm glad, um, certainly, of course, that uh, there's a lady working on this uh, in, in helping to spearhead it in the first place, uh, somebody who's got some background. I, I, I'm very excited about this. Uh, what, what kind of a show do I want to see? First of all, should it be in the uh, area? Arrow and Flash continuity or not. Um, I could take it or leave it. I could go either way. I could see this being a great standalone kind of thing. Uh, on the other hand, I think that it would be... I guess I'm going to say I would... I would love to see it in the Arrow universe. I would prefer to see it in the Arrow universe, but I'm not going to be like, oh man, this is going to suck if it's if it's not there, or oh, it's too confusing to have all these different continuities. Um, I, I, like I said, I could see it either way, but I guess I'm going to say I would really love to see it in the Arrow universe because uh, spinning off these different shows is kind of adding uh, more and more of a comic book kind of... Uh, kind of feel to that world like like as as we continue on we're adding more of the kind of uh, supernatural and more heightened elements so when Arrow started it began as something a little bit more street level and grounded and then uh, we introduced superpowers uh, with the Flash and uh, you know, with Mercur and stuff but in the same season and then with this we would be introducing the extraterrestrial and even possibly the cosmic depending on what they end up doing with it so um I, I think it would be really cool to see it to see it there uh, is it realistic to think that cw is going to want uh three or more shows in the arrow universe uh gumming up their network like 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 to to make it start to seem more and more like CW is just the DC superhero network. Uh, I think actually, yeah. Uh, I certainly it's unusual to see three I uh, I uh, shows in the same universe happening at the same time, with the exception of like some procedural uh, cop dramas and things like that. Like when you look at CSI and things like that, you do see um, sometimes three or four uh, shows running simultaneously that are all uh, set in the same universe, but they're all really kind of separate from each other and don't cross a lot as far as I understand and I, I don't watch a lot of that stuff but um, it, it seems like that's that's kind of how, how they work so uh, if, if something like that gets really successful we just go to another city and kind of do the same kind of thing with a different cast um, with this of course it's there's a lot more crossing that would happen and that sort of thing uh, but I really kind of think that CW would p perhaps want this because uh, Arrow, of course, um, famously now was kind of the show that brought them back on the map a little bit. Uh, it was really successful and especially super successful for them. It was the biggest opener they'd had in years and years and years uh, when it premiered. That's that's obviously the reason that they decided to uh, spin off Flash. They finally got a little bit smarter and decided, hey, let's not try to do another superhero show uh, just because our last one was successful and not have it connected. Let's actually 
connected, uh, which is really what they should have done with Aquaman. Uh, and originally, I said that's what they ought to have done with Arrow, uh, spin it off from Smallville, because I like Smallville's Green Arrow. Uh, but I really think that Arrow has improved on a lot of things uh, with Smallville, and it's a lot less. And, and starting in that continuity would have potentially made it a little bit too, too convoluted. Uh, I, I think it is really smart that ultimately that they did it the way that they're doing it. Um, but anyway, I, yeah, I can actually see it. I think I think it's realistic to think they might want that. If it gets picked up, though, by another network, um, of course, it's unlikely to be in that same continuity, but if it's uh, but, but if it's by itself, I think it still could be really great. Uh, what do I want to see I, I, from from the show just as, as you know, story-wise and premise-wise and that sort of thing? Well, first of all, uh, I really hope it's called Supergirl, uh, or at least has Supergirl in the title. I, I, I would hate for it to be called, like, uh, like like the last girl or Kara or something like that. Uh, I, I with with the Flash, it seems like the CW has kind of gotten a little bit wise to we can just do these characters. and we don't have to uh, try to appeal to the masses with uh, with some other kind of gimmick with like don't worry, it's not just a superhero show, uh, which I really think is what they did uh, with well, I mean, Smallville, that title with what they did made perfect sense. It wasn't a straight-up superhero show. But then when you when you look at Arrow, uh, I really feel like if they had it to do over again, they would have called that show Green Arrow. I really don't see the difference in tone or what that show is, uh, just calling it that from the beginning. Even if he doesn't call himself that in the first season, I, I still think you can kind of get away with that. And I, I really kind of think that that was this sort of like backdoor thing of if, if, uh, if people are kind of trepidatious about having to, to invest in another superhero, or maybe we can't take it seriously because it's a superhero on television. Uh, we've we've got to try to appeal to the primetime drama kind of vibe, so we call it Arrow. Uh, with The Flash, I kind of think they probably just called it Flash because they couldn't think of anything clever or cute. And I'm hoping that the same ends up being true with Supergirl. Uh, I think it would be really interesting to have a Supergirl, be it in her own universe or in the Arrow universe, without Superman at all. Uh, kind of a what if, uh, almost Elseworlds kind of thing of uh, let's let's just have Supergirl. Now I don't know how exactly you do the Kryptonian background if there is no Kal El. It seems like you, you would immediately be making what Krypton is uh, and and how it and, and how uh, the planet you know, it exploded and what led up to that and all that. Very different. Of course, there are lots of different versions of that, but I guess the question is, can you do that without Jarell and Laura sending their son off into space? Could you do it with just Supergirl? I don't know. Um, maybe you could still have all that background there, but then there's maybe a mystery as to what happened to Kal-El. Maybe you do a different version where he actually didn't uh, crash on the camp, or, or where like, he, he, he crashed and the Kents got him, but no knows about him yet, maybe uh, with the different ages sort of thing. Maybe you do sort of a thing where like it's like Smallville, uh, where at, at this point Clark is still pretty young and just nobody knows about him yet. I'm not sure how you do it, but I do think it, it might be cool if Supergirl didn't have to be under Superman's shadow, especially because uh, they're probably not going to want to going to be able to do him uh, in, in, in the show at all. And so, or at least I would be very surprised if they were given the uh, the go-ahead, the green light to actually cast Superman in their Supergirl show. That could be really cool too, but I kind of think it would be sort of neat to explore the Superman type story with a different premise. What I mean is, instead of the uh, the person who grows up on Earth, sees himself as an American, and has this background and has to decide uh, what kind of person he wants to be and what he's going to do with his superpowers, uh, it's rather the premise of somebody who grew up on Krypton and then, you know, on an alien world, uh, finds herself suddenly on Earth, her planet has, has, has been destroyed, and she has to learn how to, uh, how to survive and cope with being in this other place and discover a love for humanity instead of seeing herself as human all along in the first place, uh, which is kind of the difference between them. So uh, it, you still have... 
the uh, you still have the immigrant thing, but it's different because it's not an, an immigrant as a baby. It's it's an immigrant who doesn't want to be there in the first place. Uh, and like like I really really like current Supergirl in Fifty Two. I kind of hope they go in a similar sort of direction uh, where she has a whole lot of pain uh, in in having to live on Earth, and it takes her a long time to discover an appreciation for humanity and uh, to figure out how to how to live here. I don't want her to be certainly, of course, a whiny character um, or like a super, like like really really brutish character, but a lot of inner turmoil because she lost her entire planet. You know, it would be sort of um, it, it'd be sort of like what if you gave J.J. Uh, Abrams Spock a TV show right after Vulcan exploded, but like you had to put him someplace else. I I I, I would really like to see that kind of thing, and I imagine that, that something similar to that is sort of what we're going to get, but I, I, I do think it would be really interesting if we got Supergirl instead of uh, instead of Superman at all. Uh, one of the things I really like about Arrow is that we do a lot of Batman-type stuff in that, we're even using some Batman characters without having to really tease Bruce Wayne at all, uh, and we're able to in some ways tell a sort of Batman story uh, with with Oliver Queen, but he has a very different background, so he's got similarities to Batman, but he's not exactly the same character. I'd love to sort of see that with Supergirl. Uh, the other, the thing that everybody's talking about with this, of course, is, yay, we're getting more uh, female superhero led stuff, and uh, of course, uh, I'm really excited about that too, assuming it's really good. Uh, we are getting more of this kind of stuff with uh, superhero and comic book TV shows already. Uh, we're getting, of course, the Agent Carter series, which I think is supposed to uh, is supposed to air in between seasons of Agents of Shield, and it's going to be kind of a shorter thing. And uh, we're going to be doing a podcast series on that, by the way. I uh, whenever whenever Shield is off the air and, and that comes back, we'll just do it in place of Shield. And so I'm excited about that. But we're also getting like I Vampire, which looks really interesting. And uh, there's of course uh, in the in the film universe. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, in the world of film, there is a there, there's there's talk about doing a movie about a uh, female Spider-Man character. So we are getting more of this stuff. It's going to be uh, interesting to see if we finally get some really good ones, uh, and, and I hope we do. I think that now that we've taken taken uh, you know superhero fiction on film in a direction where people just take it more seriously and you can just simply tell good stories and you don't have to do the same formula every time or uh, conversely have to try to um, impress people with how serious and brooding it is and you can just tell a good story and then let it you know you know be under that umbrella uh, I I like, like it's it's hard um, at first not to not to look back at like uh, female led superhero stuff on film and go eh, I hope we I hope it's you know we don't end up with more like Elektra and um, Catwoman and, and and those sorts of things but uh, I think it's been time for a while you know to finally get some some good female led uh, superhero stuff both in film and TV uh, because. I think that we have finally uh, kind of learned how to just breathe a little bit and just make cool stuff uh, in, instead of trying to figure out how to spin it. And so uh, I'm not too worried that just because it's a girl, it's going to be bad anymore. Like it seemed to be kind of kind of in the past. Uh, and Supergirl, of course, was one of those uh, much earlier in the 80s. And so uh, it, it's, it, it really is cool that this is one of the characters that uh, they're going to and they're going to bring back to screen. I love Supergirl. Uh, she has turned into, especially because of 52, one of my favorite DC characters. And uh, anyway, I could not be more stoked about this. Of course, uh, definitely hoping that they just full blown let her have a costume. Uh, I hope it's not a Smallville thing, and I really doubt with with Flash now and stuff that, that it will be. Uh, even if it's not in that continuity, I, with with the precedent we have now for having costumes on screen, I would imagine we will get a costume. I will imagine that she will very early be a straight up superhero, and that that it won't be so much of a cutesy prequel thing. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I'm stoked about this. What do you folks think? Uh, leave comments in the comments below. Do you want to see it in the Arrow Flash universe? What kinds of things do you want to see in the show? Do you think it should be a separate thing from Superman, or do you think that Superman should somehow uh, be involved in the show? Leave your comments. Looking forward to reading them. And uh, in the meantime, I am Captain Logan, and this concludes today's Captain's Log.